Hello, and welcome to the Quality Insights Practice Module Overview on Screening, Measurement, and Self-Monitoring of Blood Pressure. Today, we will present a high-level overview of evidence-based information related to cardiovascular health and blood pressure management. This work is part of our ongoing efforts in providing Pennsylvania medical practices with information to assist with improving the prevention and management of hypertension, diabetes, and stroke, and is designed to promote and supplement your current quality improvement efforts. All of the content we'll be reviewing today is only a quick summary of a printable resource produced by Quality Insights in March 2022. You can find the downloadable PDF version of the module by visiting the Quality Insights website, linked here, as well as at the end of the presentation. Please keep in mind that the various resources in the module are not endorsed by Quality Insights and that guidelines and recommendations referenced are to be used along with clinician judgment and based on individual patients' unique needs and circumstances. Should you have questions related to the content, please contact your local Quality Insights Practice Transformation Specialist. Quality Insights is dedicated to assisting your healthcare team in achieving optimal blood pressure management. Through our partnership with the Pennsylvania Department of Health, we offer a wide variety of services designed to help you improve and reach your quality improvement goals focused on hypertension, cholesterol, diabetes, and prediabetes management. Some key services Quality Insights is ready to offer include technical assistance to support your clinical quality improvement goals and improve value-based care in your practice and recognition for your achievements. Quality Insights can help you apply for national recognition through the Target BP and Million Hearts Hypertension Control Champion programs. High blood pressure is a contributing factor to major health conditions, including heart attack, heart failure, stroke, kidney failure, and many others. This figure highlights the number of U.S. adults who have hypertension. It also shows people with hypertension who are recommended to use either lifestyle modifications only or lifestyle modifications with prescription medication. The third row shows people with hypertension whose blood pressure is uncontrolled below 130 over 80. And you can see that almost 74% are uncontrolled. The next row shows people who are recommended to use prescription medication, but are either untreated or treated, but whose hypertension is not under control. Finally, the bottom row shows people who have a blood pressure at or above 140 over 90, stage two hypertension, and are particularly in need of lowering their blood pressure. In late 2020, the U.S. Surgeon General published a call to action to control hypertension. In addition to the Million Hearts and Target BP initiatives, a growing number of national campaigns are raising awareness about the importance of blood pressure control. Shown here is a sample of initiatives offering tools and resources for providers and patients. You can learn more and navigate to the programs from the learning module. Self-measured blood pressure monitoring, or SMBP, is supported by strong scientific evidence over many years. An important component is clinical support, which may be educational classes, one-to-one -one counseling, and telephonic or web-based support. SMBP plus clinical support has been shown to significantly improve blood pressure control and supports accurate diagnosis while improving access and quality of care for individuals with hypertension. To learn more about the evidence for SMBP plus clinical support, see the learning module. Target BP is a joint initiative from American Heart Association and the American Medical Association. Using an MAP framework, measure accurately, act rapidly, and partner with patients it provides a number of resources, including a free CME course on accuracy in measurement for healthcare professionals. 
Accurate measurement is important for patients too, and you can link to a number of resources from the learning module. Quality Insights offers a variety of resources to support your patients, including a list of smartphone apps to help patients track their blood pressure. Get more information in the learning module or talk to your Quality Insights Practice Transformation Specialist. The Community Preventive Services Task Force, or CPSTF, recommends team-based care to improve patients' blood pressure. Team-based care increases the proportion of patients with controlled blood pressure, reduces systolic and diastolic blood pressures, and is cost-effective. Pharmacists play a crucial role in reducing the risk for heart disease and stroke, including promoting medication adherence. Refer to the learning module for resources and tools for care teams and pharmacists. The CDC recommends the following evidence-based lifestyle change programs as appropriate choices for referral of adults with high blood pressure. Weight Watchers, also known as WW, Supplemental Nutrition and Assistance Program Education, also known as SNAP-Ed, Expanded Food and Nutrition and Assistance Program Education, or FNEP, Taking Off Pound Sensibly, TOPS, and the YMCA Blood Pressure Self-Monitoring Program. You can contact your local YMCA to see if this program is available in your region. Quality Insights has developed an at-a-glance guide to highlight benefits of CDC-approved lifestyle change programs available in Pennsylvania. Link to this guide from the learning module. Remote patient monitoring, RPM, is the use of electronic devices to record a patient's health data for a provider to receive and evaluate at a later time. For example, a patient can use RPM to measure their blood pressure regularly and send the information to their provider. The CPSTF recommends several telehealth interventions for reducing chronic disease risk factors in patients and managing chronic disease conditions, including mHealth and remote patient monitoring. These conditions include recently diagnosed cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, HIV infection, end-stage renal disease, asthma, or obesity. The CPSTF found that the use of telehealth interventions can improve medication adherence, clinical outcomes such as blood pressure control, and dietary outcomes such as eating more fruits and vegetables and reducing sodium intake. Are you interested in implementing an SMBP program, but concerned about having adequate resources and assistance? Quality Insights offers a free home blood pressure monitor loaner program and training. Participating practices are supplied with up to five automated home blood pressure monitors that can be loaned to patients to monitor their blood pressures at home. Loaner monitors are ideal for patients that do not currently own a blood pressure monitor or for those lacking the resources to immediately purchase one. It may also be useful when a patient is newly diagnosed with hypertension or when a patient experiences a change in blood pressure medication. Patients and providers are able to track and monitor prehypertensive patients, those with uncontrolled hypertension and patients with recent or past histories of hypertensive crises training for your staff and on how to educate patients for SMBP and the loaner program is included. For more information, speak to your Quality Insights Practice Transformation Specialist. I hope today's brief overview of the screening, measurement, and self-monitoring of blood pressure learning module has been helpful and that you'll be able to utilize this information in your practice. We invite you to visit the Quality Insights website, linked here, to download and review all of the available information for this module. Quality Insights also provides a free e-bulletin that features regular updates and resources for cholesterol management, hypertension, prediabetes, and diabetes. 
Finally, if you have questions or need assistance with implementing quality improvement activities in your practice, a Quality Insights Practice Transformation Specialist is here to help. Please reach out to us at any time. Again, thank you very much for taking the time to review today's recording. Have a great day.